I'm making a chainmail balaclava, or mail coif, as some of you will prefer. In fact, I'm quite sure that lots of you will prefer that. Um, and uh, this is tremendously exciting. Oh, the hours of fun. Uh, and at the end of it, I will have a, a completed item. And, and when I stick it on, as you'll see, I will be completely invulnerable to all. I will be slightly less vulnerable to some forms of attack. Um, it's got a way to go yet. Now, the reason I'm making this is that uh, I've been wanting for some while to make a video about coifs. Um, but I didn't have one to show you, so I thought I'd make one. But given that I'm making one, I thought I'd make this video, so at least I get two videos out of it. Right, now, the method. It's utterly fascinating. What you do is you get a pair of pliers, and you stick in a link. You then, with another pair of pliers, open that link. And you then link it into the pattern, and you then close the link. You then get another link. You then open that link, you then add that to the pattern, and then you close that link. You then get, I think you've got the uh, general pattern now, and you keep doing this until it's finished. That's roughly the method. Um, in my chainmail t-shirt, that is my male Bernie, there are about 30,000 links. In this there are going to be, I don't know, maybe 15,000 links, really rather a lot. This is six mil internal diameter. It's not for the faint-hearted, really. If you uh, like things that to be easy and quick, making mail is probably not for you. If you do want to know lots more about how to make mail, there's a, a link uh, to my website, which, which, which is here, uh, there it is, and uh, loads more detail there. Now, some people will say, ah, he's just making butted mail. That's not proper mail. You know, proper mail was riveted. Well, uh, yes, a lot of mail from medieval period and earlier, Roman stuff as well, uh, was riveted. But butted mail did exist. So butted mail is not necessarily inauthentic. I've seen plenty of museum examples of authentic butted mail. Uh, it is generally less strong, although it depends on quite a few factors. Now, I'm using very um, strong steel. This... Uh, these links were made for me by a spring manufacturer and these uh, th this wire is the sort of stuff that's used for quite powerful springs and it's very strong uh, stuff. You can pick up uh, my finished Bernie by a single link and it will not open. This is tough stuff, there's no way you're going to cut through it and it would be quite resistant to arrows and perhaps one day I'll test it to find how resistant. Um, now one piece of advice I'll give you is that um, if you do start making your own mail Keep linking until your hands hurt. They will hurt. Uh, then stop. Then wait for a day, maybe two days, and then have another go. And gradually toughen your hands up. Because if you really go for it right from the start, uh, you're, you, will, you will wear through your skin. Uh, but after a while, you have calluses, and then you'll be able to link to your heart's content. Now, uh, one option is that you don't actually make mail at all, you buy it ready-made. And the price of mail, butted and riveted, has come crashing down in recent years, uh, thanks largely to a lot of villages in India starting to make the stuff to sell to these bizarre rich Westerners uh, for their live-action role-play and their reenactment and so forth. And you can get now actually quite reasonably priced uh, riveted mail. Uh, but if you've made it yourself, not only will it fit you perfectly and be exactly to your specifications, but you'll be able to say, I made it myself, and you'll feel so satisfied. The act of linking is, uh, it's a bit like knitting, really. You can do it whilst listening to the radio, um, and uh, there is there is some satisfaction. It's a, a certain amount of therapeutic nature to the action of it. Oh, brilliant. So how long will it take me? Linking at a rate of, oh, I don't know, about five a minute or so, it will take you maybe 150 hours to make yourself a Bernie. If you use quite small links like these, if you use larger links, of course, it'll be quicker. Uh, but um, it won't be as comfortable to wear. With this stuff, it's be beautifully comfortable with nice small links. Uh, but this isn't the smallest. There, There is authentic stuff. For instance, mogul uh, Indian stuff, some of that is very, very fine. And I do wonder how much protection it afforded, but uh, it was certainly comfy. Dindy Bear!